Hi, y'all. Well, we're back. Another video. And I've been looking forward to it. This is going to be good. This one is going to be about the batteries I just received from Jenny Wu with Docon Technology. When I did the big battery review video about the three companies that I've done business with three weeks ago, and thank you so much for your support watching that video and a lot of new subscribers. That was really good. It tells me that this is a subject that people really care about. And it is the scariest thing that we do when we're putting these do-it-yourself batteries together is we buy these cells from people we've never met in China with very little recourse if things go wrong. So it's very important that we find a good supplier and a reasonable price. So in that video, just to summarize what uh, my experience was in the past, was I had one supplier, Winnie Wong with Jidian Technology, that basically lied about everything, sold me used cells that didn't, a lot of them didn't even test to the rated capacity. New cells are supposed to test above the rated capacity. And then I bought cells from Amy Wan. I paid about $25 per cell additional to what I needed to pay because I did some business with Jenny Wu. I bought some, some cells from Winnie Wu, I mean from Jenny Wu, uh, from the warehouse in Houston and had a really good experience with those. They tested quite a bit higher than the rated capacity and they worked really well when I put them together into a battery. So when I needed to buy 64 more cells, I decided that would be the route to go. And I bought the cells for about $25 per cell less than the ones I bought from Amy Wan. And at the time I made that video, those cells were still on the water, still on a ship. And I had been watching as they went up the Asian coast. The ship had gone up the Asian coast, been loaded, and take, took off for America. And a couple of three weeks later, it showed up off the coast of Long Beach, spent two or three days kind of trolling around at one knot off the coast of Long Beach, and then came into port. Four days later, four and a half days later, it left port. And right at that same time, I got another communication from Jenny Wu saying that the batteries had cleared customs and were going to be uh, coming my way soon. Two days later, they got to Central Texas and a FedEx truck drove up to my door and I said, hey, what you got? And he said, oh, I got some more of these heavy boxes for you. Oh my God, I was surprised. Now, in the video that I did before, I told you that, the, that Amy Wan never lied to me. She, she supplied what she said she was going to supply, but the the shipper that she used, the company that she used to manage the receiving of those cells, they sat in a warehouse in California for a month after they cleared customs before they left. And then once they left, they ended up showing up in two different batches, came from two different, because the person, the company that is their logistics company, I think they're terrible. And I've read some comments similar to my experience on the discussion forum, on the DIY solar forum. So this was a completely different experience. Now the time that I, before that I bought cells from Jenny Wu, I got them from Houston. So I actually was in Houston and just picked them up. So that was a really wonderful experience. This time they showed up in Long Beach and from the time they got to the port to the time they got to my door in Central Texas was a week. So, great. Bully. That's cool. Let's open the last box. Now, these are, these are the boxes. These are the cells that I opened. And they've all got their unique numbers already. But I saved one so that you could see how, they're, how they arrive. They arrive in this box. And the top of the box is the package that this should have. Now, I, I haven't opened this box before. This, this might be the 
This might be the box that has the damaged cells in it. We'll find out together. So there's two bus bars. And four nuts, just like I would expect. These are tinned copper bus bars. I have tested these bus bars and they are great. And this is how the cells are packaged. There's quite a bit that that, that thick of uh, foam on top of the cells. You can see where the terminals have dented in, but they're, uh, they're well packaged. There's no way that they're going to get dented or and, and these cells, you can look at any cell here, these cells are all pristine, perfect, look new, everyone looks the same. They're not swollen. The, the packaging is really good. In some of those orders I've gotten before, it's just hell getting the battery out. This one is perfectly fit and easily gets lifted out. Let's look it over. Not even a tiny scratch or minor dent. Looks brand new, just like all the others. Let's check this one. Same, same. All the QR codes are intact. These are LF280K cells, and that's the, their Eve cells, Eve LF280Ks. And I like LF280Ks because it is a new series. They've only been out for the LF280Ks, I think they've only been out for a year or so, maybe less, maybe July of last year, June of last year. So you know you're not getting recycled cells that have been in a, a Chinese transit bus and then got taken out and recycled and sent to you claiming to be new grade A cells. So, tile floor, these <laughs> tiles job isn't as good as it could be but uh, let me put the labels on these two and then we're going to do a little bit of testing I have to start doing the capacity testing on these but I've been very busy because I'm working on that new project with the solar shed and the garden shed yesterday we went in the trailer and big truck and we picked up materials from three different places brought a big trailer load of materials to the job got there just about dark and i went back this morning sunday morning and unloaded the trailer and got everything ready for tuesday because tomorrow it's going to be raining all day and i wanted to get everything set up <laughs> this looks like a bloated cell. It's just because the tile is not even. <laughs> um, I wanted to get everything set up before it got muddy. So I got the trailer unloaded, put back away and everything. And, and I'm ready to go there for starting to build that building again on, on Tuesday. All right, let's see how these test. They say... 0.19 milliohms. Well, let's just see what they test. They're supposed to test at point to the, the, the specification from the manufacturer on these cells says that they're supposed to be 0.25 or less. So let's see what we get. I have 0.19. Point one nine point one seven point two one. Let's just do some random numbers here and find out 
0.19. It's pretty consistent. So I'm going to start testing these and these, uh, these unique numbers I put on them, uh, they're chronological and this is for two projects and this is the last one for the two projects. It's cell number 266. That's a lot of batteries y'all. It's intimidating to look across and see all this. I've got all these boxes that I've built. Everyone has to get 16 cells put into it. I've got so much to do, y'all. All right. Coming up, the next video I'm going to do, I believe, because I changed my mind, but the next one is going to be a video about surge protection devices. I've got a bunch of midnight solar surge protection devices that I'm going to be installing on my solar shed and on the panels coming in from the grid. Because if lightning strikes next door, down the street, surges come up the line. And those transient spikes can wipe out electronics. So I'll be putting surge protection devices on the inverters coming in from the solar array because that can pick up lightning strikes. Not direct hits, not going to be protected from a direct hit. But it can the, the whole array can pick up nearby lightning strikes and send transient spikes into the electronics. I'm going to put them on the main panel coming in from the grid, and I'm going to put one on the battery combiner box. So we'll go through all that on the next video. I want to thank everybody for the outpouring of love and support for the last video I did where I talked about shifting my career, stopping my job, uh, quitting my job with the company I've been working with for 25 years and, and getting out of the high stress environment of building multi-million dollar residential construction projects. Uh, I am really happy with that decision and really thrilled with the outpouring of support for where I want to take this channel from from all the members. Over a hundred comments, almost all of them just really heartwarming and and I really appreciate it. I'm gonna do my best to to honor your trust and faith in me and I'm going to do my best to to bring to you the knowledge that I've gained about high performance buildings and building science over the last 22 years since I got involved in the building science community and I hope I'm able to help share the information that I gained during that time and I hope it helps you like the video if you if it's helped you please subscribe. I need to get the numbers up so that we can get this information spread to more people. There's a lot of people out there that want to hear this information and they never see evidence of it. Your subscription helps change the algorithm so that they can see this channel if, uh, if it will benefit them. Thank you very much. You have a good evening and I'll see you on the next video.